details tonight on the search for a gunman who killed a man at a popular event in southwest Florida called ZombieCon. The victim was a student at a junior college in North Miami Beach. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez is in the newsroom with more on him and who police are looking for. Elliot? Well, Ruta Bay Police in Fort Myers have received more than 500 tips about the shooting that killed a South Florida athlete. They're closely examining surveillance video that shows thousands of people, some of them in costume, carrying fake weapons, making the investigation that much more difficult. ZombieCon was supposed to be a fun weekend event in downtown Fort Myers until shortly before midnight Saturday. <laughs> A crowd of about 20,000 people ran for cover after the shots were fired. Five people were shot. One of them, 20-year-old Tyrell Taylor, was killed. Taylor, who grew up in Clewiston, played football at ASA College in North Miami Beach, which just started a football program this year. Tyrell was a, a great, great person, first of all. You know, he was well-loved, he was well-liked and well-respected amongst our staff and amongst our team. Police in Fort Myers are closely looking at all the surveillance footage they've received, including this scene that appears to show a man dressed in black holding what appears to be a weapon. Police warned many people at ZombieCon were in costume, some with fake blood and fake weapons. Taylor celebrated his birthday just two weeks ago. Now his family is mourning their loss. Everybody's devastated by this. Nobody was expecting that phone call, that message on Facebook, you know, that text message, anything. It just wasn't, I, I would have never expected that I would have got a call saying my brother just been killed. Taylor was an offensive lineman for ASA. Teammates say number 68 was a tough competitor who liked to smile and lead teammates in prayer. Uh, I shed a couple tears already, you know, uh, basically just trying to hold it together for the rest of the guys at the support system. And dealing with death is it, not an easy thing, so. Just, just honestly, just a day by day thing, and just knowing that he'll want us to pursue forward with uh, with our careers and with our team, and in memory of him. Well, the ASA college football team considered canceling its next game this weekend. Instead, players and coaches will go ahead and play, dedicating the game to Tyrell. ASA College has also started a GoFundMe page to help his family. For more on that, just go to our website, cbsmiami.com. In the newsroom, Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.